Greetings, Internet friends. Welcome to another episode of the Synergy Cafe online show featuring speaker, entertainer, close-up illusionist, and marketing alchemist, Magic Brad. It's the Internet Lifestyle Show about career, finance, relationships, spirituality, and wellness. We're moving the online chatter over to real-life activity. And now, please welcome your host of Synergy Cafe, Magic Brad. Hey, Internet friends, this is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe, and I'm here for another interview. I did a couple of them this morning, and here's another one from someone that's over on the east coast, the east side, so it's a little earlier for her, or later for her, and her name is Rosalind, is that correct? Rosalind Sedaka. Yay, I did good, like Neil Sedaka. Mm-hmm, okay. exactly. So, so how, you said you, earlier you said you lived in New York and now you live in Florida? Mm-hmm. Okay, how long you lived in Florida? Oh, 30 odd years, I... I... Um, gave up on the cold weather, and I'm very happy in, in warm climate, so it suits me well. <laughs> I understand. I'm up here in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and we're having a cold snap this weekend. Yes, so we are. Just got to deal with it, you know. <laughs> so, what is it that you do? You're involved. I know you do a lot of different things in the business world, but uh, in the relationship world, you do some things there too, correct? Yes. I'm a dating and relationship coach and mentor, and I specialize in relationships for um, people in midlife, 40 and older, because that's in a different world than when you're in 20 and 30 and you're you're dating and looking for a partner. Older people have more experience. They know themselves better. They also know more about what they want, and they have a lot of baggage. They've been hurt. They've been scalded. Um, there are wounds, and they're they're a little more hesitant and tentative to move ahead in relationships, and so there are special issues, and that's what I focus on. And I'm author, co-author, with my sister, who is my partner, in uh, writing 99 Things Women Wish They Knew Before Dating After 40, 50, and Yes, 60. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I waited till I was 53 before I got married, so. There you go. Sometimes you got to wait. But uh, so, so I, I saw some stuff on your website too about, uh, you know, children and, you know, God forbid something happens where people get divorced. There's that separation thing. I know that that's, that's an issue, especially for younger kids. I mean, my parents were alcoholic and I know that things, I, they still come up, even though I've forgiven them. They're both deceased, but I've gotten over that. But stuff still comes up for me, even at the, I'm 59 now. So there's, is, do you do some things helping children get through yes. if it does? I'm recognized as the voice of child-centered divorce, and the focus of my attention is helping families, whether they're divorcing or separating or just splitting. If children are involved, then it's not a clean, simple split. The issues are very complicated, and as you know, they last a lifetime. And so what I try to do is help parents make the very best decisions they can make on behalf of their children, regardless of whether they're infants or or in in elementary school, high school, or whether they're adult children, because it, there are emotional scars, there are emotional upheaval, there's insecurities, fears, and anxieties that all happen through the complexity of divorce and its aftermath. Or a breakup, even if, if there isn't a marriage, it's it's still emotionally and psychologically harmful for the children, but it can be handled in a way that's that's positive and supportive. And in many cases, the aftermath can be better. But it's up to the parents to make the right decisions and the right choices. Now, on a, more on a you mentioned the positive, more on a positive note. Do you also get involved with like helping people that are looking to get married that might have? children from other parents and sort of help them through the issues that might come up because that happens too with the step Absolutely. Yes. As a life coach and relationship coach, then any facet of that is something I can help them with because the most important thing that we bring to any relationship is ourselves. And if we don't have a good inner sense of self, if we're not aware with high self-esteem and confidence and we're looking for someone else to fix a hole in us, to fix a gap or a wound, then we're setting ourselves up for trouble right from the beginning. So in some cases, we have to stop and do some inner work, some inner homework, and um, 
learn how to better love ourselves and feel better about ourselves. And in other cases, it's about, now that I've done that, making smarter choices. Sometimes people get into repeating patterns that are really destructive. And so they'll have relationship after relationship. The face may be different, but the circumstances end up being the same. They'll end up with another alcoholic. They'll end up with another abuser, another manipulator. So what we want to do is catch our own patterns and say, wait a minute, I have different choices I can make. I'm falling into an old pattern and this is uncomfortable because I don't want to go back there again. And that just takes some coaching, some awareness, some indications that there are different choices and options available for us. Too many people think the choices are just this or that. And when you open the, the door to understanding that there are so many different options we can make once we look at them all, then we make smarter decisions and the outcome is always happier. So uh, before I ask my final question that I like to ask so much, could you, because if someone here sees this and they want to get a hold of you and maybe have a little consultation or something. How do they get a hold of you? Do you have a website and all that kind of stuff, I'm uh, assuming? Yes, I have several websites. If That's you're good. interested in talking about the divorce world and divorce and parenting, then my website is childcentereddivorce.com. If you're interested in talking about single issues, I have programs and courses for both women and men so that you get your perspective right on um, what's really important. And you can go to Women dating after four zero dot com or men's dating formula dot com to see programs that are available for you. And if you want to talk about life coaching in any any category in any area of health, then you could um, email me directly at rosalindwrites at gmail dot com, and that's R O S A L I N D. W R I T E S, Rosalind Writes at gmail.com. Okay. And with all those links, I can't remember them all, but if you could, I think we're connected on Facebook. So if you could send those to me in a private message, and I will then put them on this, uh, this interview, and then that goes up to YouTube, and then I propagate it out to social media and things of that sort. So we'll get those That's links out there for people to find. So here's my final and favorite question, and then maybe down the road if you want to do something more specific, because you, you are kind of multifaceted. Maybe there's a niche that we could talk about more specifically. But here's my favorite question. It's the big why question. Why are you doing this, and why aren't you like a restaurateur or a ski instructor mm -hmm. or a gymnastics coach? Why are no, you doing is. what you're doing? Great question. Because this is my passion. My background in, in writing, and that's the work, the business work I do. But my passion came out of my own life. I had a divorce when my son was 11 years old, and I was traumatized about not emotionally scarring him from the divorce. I spent years avoiding it and finally realized that it was the right step for us to take. And I came up with a very unique um, way of talking about the divorce with my son, which ultimately evolved into becoming my ebook, How Do I Tell the Kids About the Divorce? And it also um, became the catalyst for my becoming a divorce and parenting coach and a dating and relationship coach. And as I move through all those phases of my life, I share the information I learned, the lessons I've learned, and it's my passion to help people avoid mistakes so we can avoid the emotional and psychological turmoil that I see too many people experience. They don't have to have that pain, and we could shortcut the lessons so that you could move on into a happier, more fulfilling life by doing things in a more conscious way. That's what I'm all about, and I love it. Got it. Well, it sounds like you've uh, had some experience, unfortunately, so you've sort of blazed the trail that for people that may be going into this situation, so you can kind of help them that way. And it's it's refreshing to know whenever I ask the big why question that people are looking to help other people. So it's always it's refreshing. There's hope for humanity, as they say. Yes. <laughs> So I appreciate you taking the time today to be on Synergy Cafe, and I will uh, propagate this out to the world. And, and uh, again, thanks for taking the time. So appreciate it. Thank you.